Are you already a DevOps engineer and want to transition into MLOps? Many of our learners like them have successfully done it and here's how you can do it. Step 1. Understand the difference. While DevOps focuses on automating software delivery and infrastructure management, MLOps takes that a step further by incorporating machine learning models into the deployment pipeline. Step 2. Start learning the basics of machine learning. As a DevOps engineer, you already know how to deploy and monitor systems. Now you need to understand the systems you will be deploying, namely machine learning models. So you can start by taking a few beginner machine learning courses, things like supervised versus unsupervised learning, regression, classification and neural networks. Step 3. Dive into data pipelines. As a DevOps engineer, you already know CI/CD, but in MLOps, you will need to apply those concepts to data, collecting, processing and preparing it for trading models. Think of data pipelines as a foundation for machine learning models. You will need to handle data collection, pre-processing, feature extraction and many more. So familiarize yourself with tools like Apache Kafka, Airflow or Kubeflow. Step 4. Embrace model deployment and monitoring. In MLOps, deploying models is just as important as monitoring them in production. After all, machine learning models need constant care just like your infrastructure. In MLOps, deployment isn't one and done job, models evolve and monitoring their performance, whether it's for drift, accuracy or bias is crucial for keeping them in check. Now step 5. Collaborate with data scientists. You'll be working side by side with data scientists who create these models. So building bridges with them is essential, understanding their work, their needs and how you can automate their processes. Now step 6. Master MLOps tools. You'll need to get hands-on experience with tools specifically built for managing machine learning workflows. Think Kubernetes for scaling, TensorFlow or PyTorch for model training, Docker for containerization and MLflow for model tracking. Tools like Kubeflow, TFX and MLflow help automate model workflows, manage experiments and fit into DevOps processes. And step 7. Gain hands-on experience. Theory is important but real experience is what will get you there. So start working on small machine learning projects, even personal ones, to see how data flows, how models are built and how they are deployed. Also, if you want to gain more insights or want to transition into MLOps, register for our free masterclass right now. So you can find the link in the description box below.